God bless you, and thank you for tuning in this morning to the sermon. This morning, I'm going to be covering the topic, Pray and Prayer. Thank you for joining me again, I say, and also please like and subscribe. This will help me to monetize my YouTube channel so that I can travel and evangelize. I would like to verse verse go back to John, the Gospel of John, verse 14, chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. If you shall and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Are you sick? Pray. Do you need money? Pray. Are your children wild and crazy and insane and not acting right or not doing good in school? Pray. Let God work sometimes and fight our battle and we just do the best we can and basically sometimes in life we just have to walk in faith walk in faith trust in God that God will perform the acts necessary for our life to be transformed we basically have a devil and he's God's enemy number one but we have defeat over him in everything because we are sons of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, we read, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the mind of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Well, if we have our minds on things, oh, what's the latest, who's winning the latest, latest game, who's, you know, what can, what can I do this weekend, oh, uh, what television show is playing tonight, instead of the things of God, well, there's always going to be distractions, not good church, not to be active in the church, not to read the Holy Bible. We have to make time for the things that are spiritual because our lives are spiritual. Our lives are basically in a warfare, even if we accept it or not, because there's a battle between God and the devil. I would like to say this, the reason to pray is basically because God cannot just overstep boundaries. He can just not come down from heaven and just say, pow, your life changes. He's not a magic God. There's rules that he has to follow. That's why he sent his son as our redeemer. Because we were under the control of the devil. Now we have Christ in us, the hope of glory. And basically, had the devil known that, he would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Because we are Christ-like as we walk in the word and believe his word. But we have to believe his word. We have to... Uh, read the word. I can't say that enough. We need to read the Holy Bible daily. In chapter 18, verse 19 and 20 of Matthew, we read, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Again, I say that if you or another or two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall be touching, they shall have it. You want it? It shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. My suggestion to you is find a prayer partner. 
find a prayer partner. Find somebody to encourage you daily to pray. Find somebody to encourage you to do the acts of God. It's not always easy. We got a schedule. We got a family. We got a life. We got animals. We got things we have to do. There's always distraction. But we have to make things for the things that are important. People use the words busy, busy. Oh, I'm always busy. I don't have time to read the Bible. I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do this. Oh, I'm so busy. Like your life is so important that you can't give time to God. And you ask yourself, why is my life in such a shamble? Well, basically it's in a shamble because uh, you're not giving heed to God. In chapter Mark, Mark, go to the chapter of Mark. In chapter 11, verse 24, I'm going to read that to you. Therefore, I say, God say unto you, what things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you'll, you shall have them. God, do you mean I don't have a car? I can pray for a car and you'll give me a car? And God's saying, I am. God is I am. God is I, the God that can do anything. You have to pray because God is not able to act unless you act. God wants to give you. He loves you. But you have to ask. And then you have to believe. Okay? First John. I'm being a little dramatic to emphasize the point. Um, I'm not trying to offend anybody. Go to First John. Chapter 5. Verse 14, 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we shall ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. We, and if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. Whatever you want, brothers and sisters, whatever you want, you can have. Oh, but, 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 I can't afford to have another child. Oh, I'm not in good health. Well, pray for better health. Oh, I can't have a baby. Oh, because of this reason or that reason. Pray. God can make it happen. Oh, I don't have food tonight to eat. Oh, pray, okay? Whatever you need, pray. Whatever you don't need, Pray, pray for abundance, pray for manna from heaven, whatever you need. If you heard my story, you would be like, wow, wow, that's not true. I've had people tell me that, okay? I, I was poor, I grew up poor. I mean, so poor, I wore sandals in the winter in North Carolina. People felt so sorry for me. They, they basically went out and bought me boots. I wore them home. My mother said, take them back to school. She was so prideful. She did not believe in God. But anyway, I would like to say I love you. I would like to challenge you to pray for the things you need and watch God act for you to give you the things you want and need. God can do it. God can prosper you. And in these times, we need to pray. Prayer is my secret weapon. It's my secret weapon. It's what carries me day by day. It's what took a poor man and made him prosperous. Be prosperous, people. Magnify God. Give praise to Him. Read the Holy Bible. Be transformed. I love you. God bless you. If there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. Leave, please leave a comment. I'll pray for you. And I'm a street evangelist. I go, I get, go out on the street and I preach to people. And I basically win souls for Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. So my words may not always be a pulpit. Right, so please forgive me. But my, the message is right. 
and I hope you get the message. God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. It's like electricity, folks. If you got the socket plugged in, if the power's on the outside, it's connected to your house. If you don't turn on the lamp, or turn on the computer, you can't use what's there. It's the same way with God. You have to be plugged in, folks. You have to be plugged in. It's all about relationships. It's all about mindset. I love you. Thank you for joining me today. Bye.